Hello friends, welcome back to Zero Math. In today's video, we'll learn how to find the solution of a quadratic equation using a quadratic formula. After this video, you can easily solve the solution of a quadratic equation within few seconds. Let's take one equation, 5x squared minus 8x plus 3 equals to 0. Now comparing this equation with the general quadratic equation, that is ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0. Now comparing the coefficient in these two equations, we are having a equals to 5, b equals to negative 8, and c equals to 3. Now the quadratic formula says that x equals to minus b plus minus root over b squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2a. Putting all the values we are having, the value of b is negative 8, so minus of minus 8 plus minus root over, instead of b square, we have to write like minus 8 whole square minus 4ac. So 4 times a, the value of a here is 5 and the value of c here is 3 divided by 2 times a, that means 2 times 5. We are having negative of negative 8, that becomes positive 8, plus minus root over 64. And if we do the multiplication, 4 into 5, that's 20, 23 is up, that means 60, divided by 10. We are having 8 plus minus root over 4, divided by 10. Now, as we know that the value of root 4 is 2, so putting the value here, 8 plus minus 2 divided by 10. Now we are having two values with the two different sign. The first, let us take with the positive value, x equals to 8 plus 2 divided by 10. 8 plus 2 becomes 10 divided by 10. That becomes 1. Now taking the other value with the negative sign, x equals to 8 minus 2 divided by 10. So this becomes 8 minus 2 is 6 over 10. So the value of x, if we cancel out these two, so we are having the value as 3 over 5. So therefore, we can say that x is having two values. x equals to 1 is a solution of this quadratic equation. And it, x equals to 3 by 5 is another solution of the quadratic equation. Now let's go to another example. x squared plus 7x minus 4 equals to 0. Now again comparing with the general form of quadratic formula, uh, sorry, quadratic equation. So ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0. Now comparing these two, we are having a is equals to 2, b is equals to 7, and c is equals to negative 4. Now again using the quadratic formula, x equals to minus of b plus minus root over b squared minus 4ac divided by 2 times a. Now putting all the values, instead of b we are having 7. So we will take negative 7 plus minus b squared. That means 7 squared minus 4 times a into c. So the value of a is 2 and the value of c here is minus 4. Divided by 2 times a. Since a is 2, so we have to substitute a is equal to 2. Now minus 7 plus minus root over 49. Now here it becomes 4 to the 8 and 8 to the is 32. So it will be positive 32. Divided by 4. Minus 7 plus minus. Now 49 plus 32, if you do it, you're, uh, you will be having 81. Now again, root over 81 is a perfect square. So we can write minus 7 plus minus root over 81 is a square of 9. So uh, eight, 81 is a square of 9. So putting the value of root over 81, that is 9, divided by 4. Again, we are having two values here. One with the positive sign, another with the negative sign. So taking with the positive sign, minus 7 plus 9 divided by 4. 
it becomes two by four. Again, these will cancel out. So two divided by two and four divided by two. Our answer becomes one over two. Now let us check the value with negative sign. So minus seven minus nine divided by four. Minus seven minus nine becomes minus 16 divided by four. So answer is negative four. So therefore we are having two values as well. So x equals to one over two and the other value is negative four. 